Hello from Vienna and the Global Peter Drucker Forum. I am privileged today to have some time to speak with Valerie Oosterhof, Partner Development Director and ESG and Sustainability Initiatives. Thank you for being here. Uh, one of the things I would really like you to help us all understand are the extraordinary Fujitsu Yuvans initiatives. This is a combination of two words, universe and advancement. Please tell us a little bit about this. So I, I think the very first thing to understand is that it's not one product. It's actually, it's a, it's a concept. Um, in addition to that, it is, it kind of covers uh, a multitude of um, sectors, um, but also products. But at its heart, it has sustainability. So whatever we do, that is what's at its heart. Um, probably the easiest way of kind of explaining it is by giving you two examples. So first one, um, Aichi um, uh, Medical Center, where they use AI, and I know, especially today, that's um, you know, being talked about quite a bit, um, to help doctors with the identifying and treating um, patients but per patient. So what we do there is instead of kind of taking jobs away, we're actually helping them to be you know, more effective and hopefully also therefore have better outcomes. Um, the second one is a um, noodle chain. Now think about it, this is over 800 kind of restaurants that they have. And then what we're doing is we're helping them with forecasting. Yes, again, you think, oh, forecasting, what does that have to do with sustainability? Well, there are different elements. What we do is we combine what day of the week it is, um, what weather it is, is there an event in the area? And we put all of that together. And based on that, um, this particular company can then decide how many noodles to buy, how many pots to keep warm. Um, you know, so therefore, what you do is there's you reduce food waste, um, you use less electricity to heat all the things, and if you do that, you know, that, that kind of really makes a big difference. Mm. And happier customers. It does, yes. it does. There are, thank you, there are some, a couple of words that you've put together at Fujitsu that I really want to hear more about, and I'm sure our audience would like to understand, and that's sustainability transformation. Mm. Can you, it's an extraordinary set of initiatives that Fujitsu is in the lead on in the world, can you tell us a little bit about it and some highlights of that? Mm. So, first of all, sustainable transformation, what is it? it, uh, it in really basic terms, being Dutch, <laughs> um, um, it is digital transformation. But at the same time, when you do the digital transformation, is helping as well to bring in a sustainability element. Now, when I talk about sustainability, also really important, I think, is... is um, not just common footprint. I also think of the social element and governance, so really ESG, the three elements of it. And what we try and do is, while bringing digital kind of transformation, at the same time also giving, you know, kind of like a positive impact when it comes to environment, social, and economy, really. So it's not, sorry, sorry, it's not just about compliance, also really, really <laughs> important. Excellent. I imagine this has required some extraordinary focus on changing the culture inside of a technology company. Mm. Can you talk about cultural change? Mm. Probably best to use Fujitsu as an example, actually ourselves, exactly. So instead of you know, kind of talking about something in general, it, it is hard. You know, I think we all, all acknowledge that. Um, it is hard. It also doesn't happen overnight. Um, you need good vision, you need a strategy, you need you know, the board to be convinced and show how it's done. But I think there are a lot more, um, well, dare I say, important elements to also throw into this particular mix, um, which is, uh, one, there are a lot of influencers in the company. Um, and therefore, what that means is they're not particularly, they don't have to be actually in management. They could be just part and, and kind of really influential in a way. Um, another area um, I would say, which I advocate every time in whatever I do, um, is a matrix of people. So, you know, let's not only have one layer, have people from all over the company, have them all be feel part of it, and also actually really giving them the, the opportunity and the ownership to truly make a difference. We have a great example, for instance, where 
we have 17 communities, therefore aligned to the 17 um, United Nations SDGs, and they are virtual communities. So people from all over the world, 124,000 people can join what they care about. So it can be life in the water, it can be partnership, it can be also equality. Um, and these kind of communities run their own show so to speak. So they, they really feel that they are, because they are, really part of it. They can make a change. They can educate, which is what this is also all about, educate each other. So I think it's a really, really interesting and important um, you know, aspect uh, as well. Mm. Thank you. So we've just been inside the company. Mm. Now let's broaden the circle to include partnerships and mm. alignments with other kinds of companies or organizations. Can you talk to us about partnership development? Hmm. So, <laughs> ecosystem. That's what I say. And, and I also think um, we, were, we were talking about this um, in one of the sessions, is when you talk about ecosystems, it's not just you know, one kind and then a whole bunch of the same kind of people. It really is a mix, just like I was talking about people, um, as well with, with partnerships, um, you know, have a mix. So on one hand, yes, we've got some great global relationships with other Microsoft, ServiceNow, GK um, software, where we address different things. Obviously, workplace uh, being one of them, you know, at, at the heart, one of part of the heart of our business, but also cybersecurity. Um, or if you think of operational kind of efficiency, doing that with service now. Uh, um, customer experience, you know, mm. omni-channel, really, really important um, as well. But I think there's another kind of partnership that we especially I think as a Japanese company, really um, treasure and put importance on is the longevity with our customers. Mm. So um, we sign contracts where we agree, you know, together we will reduce carbon footprint over the length of our mm. contract. It also needs trust, therefore, because, you know, you can't have a decision, but you said, I said, you know, so really, really important. Um, another company who uh, is aiming to and we don't have time for this today, but become a regenerative enterprise. Um, um, and there we are helping with our solutions for them to get there. It's a manufacturing and it's actually a paper company. So totally different again. So e e ecosystems and partnerships actually cover a wide range uh, of things. Mm. Talk a little bit more about the timing that you plan. Are these you know, short-term agreements in general, or do you, uh, how do you decide the time horizon? Yeah, so I think this is, we talked about it in here as well, but, but also from a, um, yet again, the way a Japanese company looks at, um, you know, engagements um, are, you know, kind of financial plans, and um, they are all mid and long term. So you really build for the future. Um, you ca it doesn't mean that you are stuck and therefore can't move anywhere else, but you know you can build and you can adjust, and, and that is really important and one of the essence um, of uh, of working. You know, I would say to, together with with Fujitsu for that point of view. <laughs> Excellent. So I'd like to move into the next area where we look. We we take advantage of how Peter Drucker would look out the window, mm. and he would predict what was coming. If you're looking at what you're doing and the initiatives that Fujitsu is leading, mm. what do you see coming through the window? Mm. Mm. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. So AI has been a very, very big, therefore, you know, the, let's say the, the non-human, you know, kind of companions has been very high on the, on the uh, agenda here. Um, and yes, it, it, having, you know, kind of giving examples, for instance, where it helps with um, reduction in waste, um, where it helps with forecasting and therefore being able to manage certain elements of ESG um, are, are really important. Um, but I think actually as an IT company, um, we have a big role to play in changing and helping to change the world and address some of the challenges that we have. 
So to give an example, um, digital twin. Um, you have cities who can use that to look at floodplains um, and therefore without having to flood a city, you know, because dear oh dear, there's been some, you know, awful things lately, is using a digital twin to see where the floodplains are, put in place programs to make sure that you can evacuate people, make sure that you understand if you build somewhere and not somewhere else, what it will, you know, all the impacts. So all of those elements, um, I think, are, you know, th th there's been a very mixed group, you know, and view of what it is. Um, I think there are here, um, a few things that might be of interest. So what we've done, we've done some research. Um, one on, you know, kind of sustainability transformation as a whole. Um, the other one is um, how AI could help sustainability. I mean, yet again, not, not to forget, please, it's not just about carbon footprint. It really is, you know, also, um, you know, about the social elements of it and governance. Um, so those two researchers, they're online, you know, I'm sure we can put that on a link somewhere, people can, can have a look um, and see. And then what we're doing at the moment is we're working on um, a new project, um, a net positive index, which we're going to uh, launch in January, where what we're really doing there is helping, hopefully, um, companies and give them a kind of like a clear roadmap of where to go. How can you, you know, kind of become more net positive? So, so I'm quite looking forward to that um, and giving some guidance uh, that hopefully can, uh, you know, be of interest. Really. So this, this uh, leads me to my last question because mm. Many companies, institutions are trying to do more sustainability initiatives. And I understand that you're creating a group of people called Wayfinders. Mm. Tell our audience what that's for and what those people can help them do, please. Mm. So um, we launched this and spoke about this uh, already a little while ago. We're now expanding uh, the whole. And it is, in yes again, being Dutch, Therefore, you know, keeping it simple, <laughs> um, um, consultants, but consultants really to help do exactly all of the things that I was just talking about. So how can IT help with, you know, a, a properly, you know, not just kind of switching only business processes, but also looking at the overall kind of impact of it. Um, sustainability as a whole um, and, it, and it is also something that is at the core of what we do especially within the Uvance kind of group and, and kind of go to market areas so it's it's really um, I'm really excited about it and and we're going to expand and, and talk a lot more about it in in the near future um, so uh, so that's where you know really the kind of wayfinders come in. I think actually there was something else that I wanted to, that I, I kind of forgot. When it comes to, and I'm going back a little bit about culture change, mm -hmm. um, is education as well. We're doing a sustainability week next week, you know, where, and it's for people inside Fujitsu, what to do, where to go, you know, what's important, and people can all kind of contribute. Um, I don't know if that therefore means, should I just kind of, end up with my top three sure. kind of, yes. yeah. So, so for me personally, um, and therefore for us as a whole, I think it's really important to know that sustainability is not a siloed kind of thing. It r goes right throughout the, the, uh, you know, the organization. And it isn't just certain people, it is really everywhere. It is not just compliance. Um, two, therefore, as I said, as many people as possible, a variety of people, bring them in. And three, a good ecosystem of partners in a very agile kind of approach is really what, what, what I would um, advocate, really. Yeah, what I would advocate. So, um, and this is also some of the stuff that we talk about um, within, for instance, you know, so our sustainability week. Um, uh, next week. So we, we don't just talk about legislation, we talk about the kind of solutions that we created together with customers. Um, it can be anything from 
you know, um, let's say sustainable manufacturing to hybrid IT. Um, uh, it can also uh, talk specifically about the workplace or maybe just a certain element of it, especially now with AI, uh, around cybersecurity. So it's a really wide you know, kind of range of topics. Fantastic. Thank you, Valerie, for joining us here at the forum. And thank you for your help from Fujitsu. It was great. Thank you.